Hey, what's up guys? My name is Molt and today I'm going to go into a lot of details with y'all on a new attack strategy that I've been using a lot and absolutely love. So go ahead, hang on. We're going to jump into this thing and make sure you take some notes because this is going to become your new favorite attack strategy. It is the Peck Arch. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. So I'm attacking Warlords 598 with that Peck Arch strategy that I was talking about. So the whole goal, first of all, is to clear a way for your P.E.K.K.A.s to get into the base. You have four P.E.K.K.A.s and a hundred archers. Now you can see that his clan council troops come out up here and they're going to be a big distraction for us. So we don't want to drop our P.E.K.K.A.s yet because we don't want our P.E.K.K.A.s to go around the base. We want them to go right there towards that point where the cannon is. So we're going to let our archers uh, get up in here and start taking out as many of these clan council troops as possible. Now we're going to drop a P.E.K.K.A. right here and you're going to see that it is facing that uh, clan council troops. So it's a good thing that we destroyed all those. Um, now we're going to drop all of them. They're going to head right down here towards this point, which is exactly where we want them to go. We're going to drop off our king as well, and he's going to follow them in. Now what's very, very important here is um, spell placement. You guys can see that rage spell. It covers a lot of buildings that I know my P.E.K.K.A.s and my king are going to head toward. Um, the, the important thing about spell placement is making sure that your troops are in it for as long as possible. So you can see so many of my troops are still in it, especially as they go in and take out that mortar and then continue to move on. Same with this heal spell placement, guys. It's covering the town hall. It's also covering the compartment that they're about to go into. So it's healing all of them up right now, being super clutch. Um, they're in it taking practically no damage because they're getting a full heal back to full health um, out of that. And again, with this rage bow, you can see it barely touches them right here, and then it's going to cover them as they go into the uh, other departments that they focused on, or compartments. So the king's going to head off on his own right here. We're going to use his ability in just a second. And the P.E.K.K.A.s are, are going to continue working their way around. Now right here, you can see that I've spread out archers all along the outside to uh, help get some free percentage for us and also make sure that our P.E.K.K.A.s don't get distracted. But you can see right here at the bottom, these two P.E.K.K.A.s did just that. They got distracted. So now I need to drop off the rest of my archers on this army camp to make sure that they don't go all the way around. So we're going to take that out. And then now the P.E.K.K.A.s are going to head in towards the middle of the base. Now once this last barrack goes down, those other two P.E.K.K.A.s that are wandering off on their own are going to head back in towards the base and continue doing some serious damage for us. So as you can see, we haven't lost a single P.E.K.K.A. yet, guys. We have one that's pretty low on health, and the other ones are doing fairly well. So there's the first one that we lost. I know, sad times. But you can see the rest of them are heading in here. One of them's got pretty much full health up at the top left, heading in there towards that cannon. And now finally... Uh, as they've worked their way around, they're going to come in here and take out the town hall. Now, they already got the Dark Elixir, which was the main thing I wanted from this base, but now they're also going after the town hall as well, and trophies never hurt. So, you can see, we've still got three P.E.K.K.A.s up. That Tesla is that P.E.K.K.A.'s worst enemy, as we know. Teslas do bonus damage to P.E.K.K.A.s, so we got to be careful of that. But, we've got three of them still up. That one in the top is about to go down. Um, the King is really low on health, but thankfully he's not focused. You can see, there she goes, one and two. Now she's dead, so we only have two P.E.K.K.A.s left, but it's alright because uh, they lasted for 87% of the base. You can see the archers up at the top. They're not being focused by this archer tower. The archer tower, thankfully, is distracted on the king and the P.E.K.K.A.s. So our two little archers down here are actually going to take out that archer tower for us. We're at 96% right now. We've got two P.E.K.K.A.s up. One of them, does it go down? It does. So we are going to end with one P.E.K.K.A. and our king at practically no health. Look at our king's out. Practically none. Uh, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to get ourselves a three star. So again, guys, just to recoup and go over what I just said, you want to make sure that your archers clear out buildings and then you want to pick a point that you want your P.E.K.K.A.s to go to, deploy them all with your king. Um, and as long as you clear out the buildings correctly, you're going to be good to go. So here you can see I have another one training up, guys. Four P.E.K.K.A.s, a hundred archers, and then two rage spells and one heal spell, and you should be good to go. If you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure you all leave a like on it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me. See you later.